Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will cover two topics. The main one, which I'll cover second, is the Samsung One UI 8 weather widget and how much better it'll look on Samsung One UI 8. And I have this APK here. I also shared it via my quick share. So if you also want to download this latest APK, I'll place that inside of the description below and we'll compare it versus what we have in Samsung One UI 6 and One UI 7. You can see this is really flat, not much animations. Uh, the Samsung One UI 8 is so much better and I'll show you all of the different weather conditions. And then we'll also cover the latest update for the Galaxy Watch 7 and the Watch Ultra. So we'll cover this right now just because it's not that large of information to share. This update was actually pushed out about seven days ago and I wasn't able to see it until now. And that's just because I haven't really looked for an update for my watch for the last few days. Now this one is a big update though when it comes down to the Galaxy Watch 7 series and the Watch Ultra. This one is just under 500 megabytes. And normally these little watch updates are quite a bit smaller than that. We're still on Samsung One UI 6 for watch, but I believe the 7.0 watch beta is coming very soon and shortly. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. This latest update for the Watch 7 and the Watch Ultra is giving you that latest March 1st security patch. So pretty much everything here is for the stability and reliability. So if you've ever ran into the situation of your watch needing to be restarted because of the Google Play system services or whatever, this right here will probably fix it. After I got my latest uh, Google Play system update on this one right here, I never ran into that problem again. Um, and it also helps with the security of your device as well. Now, because this update is larger than normal, uh, when I updated this, I was over at the gym and it actually took several minutes. So I was updating it over at the gym. The Wear OS system update was processing. This was where it was pretty much downloading and installing. It took quite a few minutes. It took the entire set of me doing four or five different sets of the bench. So if you are updating your watch, make sure you're giving it at least five to 10 minutes to do this update here, which again is putting you on the latest security patch of March 1st. And now for the main portion of this video, which is comparing One UI 7 versus One UI 8 when it comes down to the weather widget. So right up over here, the man does walk in. You know, it's very flat, very 2D. If it was sunny, it would just show the sun. Uh, this one right here is what it looks like with rain. They didn't even walk in or anything like that. You can see a little bit of raindrops, uh, mostly only really towards the top, hitting the ground at their feet. Moving right up over here, this is what it looks like if it's cloudy. You'll just have the clouds right up over there. And then this is fair. If it was partly cloudy, you would see a little bit more clouds kind of moving around the sun. So this right here is what you are used to viewing. So what it looks like now on Samsung One UI 8, you can see a lot more colors. It is uh, more depth. There's more 3D effect with it, a little bit more animation. Now, if it is sunny, you're gonna see the sun right up over there super bright. Now moving this way, this one is fair. So you can see a little bit of clouds right there. There's no clouds. You got the sun. This one's going to bring in a little bit of clouds with the sun kind of behind it. They walked right on in. This one is cloudy. So pretty much almost no sun walks right on out, fixes a little bit of the hair. You got your little uh, sweater, you know, blowing in the breeze. Uh, and then this one over here is a little bit of light rain and it's the full entire screen. You can see it all the way down over here too. So it's not just at the feet. Now, what I did was I searched around for some weather that was happening earlier this morning and pretty much I was able to get everything. So this is what it looked like. I'm just going to play the video. So this is what it was from this morning. It was fair. It is sunny. Uh, moving on over to the, the next city, you're going to see that this one was partly cloudy. So this one is just going to show all of the clouds on the top and I also found some areas with rain as well as snow. So this next one is snow. You have snow all throughout the whole entire screen. Uh, they're pretty much kind of carrying maybe a briefcase. They put their hand out to kind of feel the snow as well. And then I believe this next one should just be rain, which we also just saw. So they walked on out with the umbrella, the rain pretty much everywhere across the full entire screen. Now I did the exact same video right here on Samsung One UI 7. So this is exactly what it was just, you know, basically one minute after. So this is where you can see the differences in animations for just regular and rain, what it looks like with snow. There is a little bit of similarities, but there's just a lot more depth to the Samsung One UI 8. Now, if we go back inside of the Samsung One UI 7 one, we pop down over here and then we head inside of the settings. 
Now inside of the settings, right up over top, you just have unit. So it's either Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then also as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at all of this down here. So about this weather application, this version is the 170198. Now you'll notice a little bit of difference when it comes down to the Samsung One UI 8 version of this. So we'll pop this up. You have your beautiful animation. As you scroll on over here into the settings, you're gonna see the units and you can have it kind of change between metric, imperial, and hybrid. So you got your Celsius, millimeters, your kilometers per hour. This one's your Fahrenheit inches, miles per hour, or if you want hybrid, which is basically the Celsius millimeters and miles per hour. So if you're somebody who likes Celsius and miles per hour, you can choose hybrid or you do imperial or you can do metric. So the units are a little different when it comes to this one. Also, you can select this option here, which is do not sell my information. So you can tap that if you would like. And then for about the weather. So this version that we have here, this newest one is 172012. And that is the Samsung One UI 8 version of the Samsung Weather Widget slash application. Now, if you are curious on getting this right here, all I did was I, I pretty much took this APK, which was from my downloaded files. So if I go inside of the My Files, this is something that I played with last night. And I just put this one through the quick share option. So all you have to do is click on the link below this video inside the description. You can tap it. You can get it installed. There might even be an update for it. So I had to tap on this icon twice for it to install. One of the things I also had to do was I went inside of my Google Play inside of here. Uh, the first time I tried to do it, it didn't actually download it. And it's because my Play Protect was on. So if you would like, you can turn this one off just for like a brief moment. So you can kind of pause it. So this way you can download an application that is not from the Play Store. It just kind of depends on how you have your phone set up. And then to finish this out, just to kind of show you what it looks like, all of the details and all the information is pretty much the exact same. You have a little bit of details. You have the next like seven to 10 days. You know, is it good for running or biking or anything like that? The AQI, you have your UV index. So going through this full entire thing, it pretty much looks the exact same as this one over here for Samsung One UI 8. So as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at it. Pretty much all that's changed is the animation and the colors. You get your, all of the exact same details right up over here. And for a application slash widget to be put out in APK form that might not even be 100% complete. This one is very smooth. And what you'll notice is that when you are adding it to your screen, like let's say you go over into your widgets, as you scroll down over into weather, you're gonna have both of them. So this is the main one. This is the one that you have on Samsung One UI 7 or 6, whatever you have on your phone. It's this weather icon right there. Then this little indicator right there is letting us know that it's Samsung One UI 8. And that's everything I wanted to share in today's video. We have a leaked APK pretty much from Samsung One UI 8 looking good. Looks like a lot of nice animations. Again, I like that they're walking in. You have the better indicators of what it is, if it's fair or cloudy, rainy, snowy, and it's for the full entire screen, not just what is on the very top. And all of these are pretty much the exact same cities. I just kind of kept them. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting to see that in uh, uh, North Dakota this morning, it was snowing, uh, which kind of caught me off guard because it's like 77 here in Kansas. But other than that, hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.